We're still heading on, trying, checking tracks around the area. Up to so far, there's no information of the leopard. So we're still trying. We may not. If not, we're gonna go somewhere else and try to check something more interesting. How's the uh, for those in Gala? Soon we'll get dark, we'll come into the area. Very much difficult to see, but it's a water. It's behind the log, under the shadow. The black color of the animal, and also from the depths from the shadow, it's really blinding. It is very much difficult to see. It is for sure very interesting behavior. <clears throat> this is a water, and it's only species that we find in the area. The bush pig, we don't find them in the area where we are, in our area of operation. What happens on the social behavior of the water? 
the group of water, mother and the babies all together in collective, we call them sounders. It's a collective name. Uh, luckily she, she runs away. It's very difficult, as I said, here because it's too hot and animals is lying in the shadow and the depths more difficult to see because the, uh, the color of the animals is dark in color. But as I said, it was called sounders in a collective term of a water. If water calves, babies, mothers, all together as a relative group, it called sounders. And here is very interesting behavior. The male, that, male doesn't stay with the females. He separates himself. He only comes when it comes to mating. What the bush pig, what they do, a male becomes territorial. Stay with the harem of the female, but still call sounders. They stay together. Why he has to do that? Because the bush pig has to protect the youngster from other bush pig that may come in the area. Because once the other bush pig enter to the area, find the, the sounders with the female with the youngster is going to kill them and force that female to be on Easter so they can mate. So bush, I mean water, what to do is not to return. A male just come back, yeah? John mate with the sounders and go his own his own thing. It's very much a territorial animal when it comes to an uh, area of operation. A male becomes territorial. He marks the area around wherever he he, he sleeps because they find the moat with the hole that dig by the end fuck and sleep inside. So around in that area not everywhere around that area where he normally he sleep in the mound. He just around he just cut bushes because they have tasks. It's the only way that they can mark around the area. They got the words, double words, and wrap that word as a plan to make sure the other men mustn't interfere on his spot. It's very, very interesting behavior. Sometimes we have busy wild water. The tail is always up. Why is like that? It's the following mechanism. When they go through to the wood, the bushes, tall grass, they can follow each other by that way. The secondary point, it could be the body balance with the tail. Once the tail is not there, there's no body balance. There has to balance with the tail always sticking up. So it's one of the secondary points why the water tails are always up. Know that, follow me and the body balance.